Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the next episode of the scavenger series. Today, friends, we are going to unlock the gym and get things moving. On top of the gym, we're also going to try to work towards other things inside the hideout. And we're also going to attempt to try and level up the PMC one or two levels again without entering a raid. But for now, let's continue our hideout goals and make some adventures. Are you ready? I'm shocking. I'm a little shocked. And we got 50,000 rubles. All right. So we need to do a couple things because one, we're getting close to having the gym unlocked. We only need like three items. It's quite awesome, actually. But we need to go and collect food because if we want to make this XP, uh, well, I guess training method. Yeah, we'll call it a training method. XP training method done. We need to get a ton of different food and also drinks. We need to get food that's going to drain our HP. That's mainly what we're focused or not HP, I'm sorry, but that's going to drain our water. That's what we're trying to focus on. If we can get that, well, we're in a good spot. We need that backpack is actually better than what we just got. I guess we'll just take the gun for now. Just take everything. We'll slide that over, bring that down. Okay. So we're going to go head over to the food. I need to get a ton. Yep. We're good, bro. We're good. I also need to get medical too. This guy's already looting inside the place, so I'm not going to bother that. But we need to get um, more morphine. Because we got some stuff that's going to be coming up. Mainly like a therapist task that's going to be popping up. And probably three or four tasks after we turn in all of the... Actually, it's two. It should be two. But after we turn in all of the different gas lights, just going to pop up for us. And we should have access to it. Technically. I have to go look at the quest order again. But there are some quests that are going to be opened up for us. Which means that's just going to give us more tasks that we're doing for the PMC without ever entering into a raid. Come on, give me stuff that's going to drain. It's all Apollos. Okay. <laughs> it's not what I was expecting. That looks like already people have gone through all the food. Well, then we're going down below to see if you can touch that. It is kind of hilarious, though. Every time I, like, I'll set up a specific plan for the first raid. and like, we can, we can make this happen. And then it, it turns out people have already taken everything. And <laughs> it's not actually there. But this should be fine. Sprats. Sprats takes five away. Herring does three. It's not good. We need to find stuff like sugar. And I know that sounds crazy, but yes, I actually want sugar so I can get my and I can get my, my water down. But we can also do like mayo as well. Mayo is a good one. I get you hundred percent down. And it looks like everything's been taken. Alright. Well then, since all the food has been pretty much taken, there's a couple other spots, but those are kind of the main ones. We're going to focus on, well, just everything else then. <laughs> We're going to get another weapon, try to get that thing kind of like looking nice. We could go check down in the bottom as well. Yeah, we can go check down the rest of the bunker, see if maybe there's a chance that someone can take the food there. What kind of ammo is that? HP ammo. And you guys also made a good point um, that I should be checking the grenade case as well for the TNT. So we're going to check that as well. Quiet, you're loud up there. I think I may need the hunting matches. I do. I do actually need the hunting matches. I will take that, thank you. That's going to be needed for the for the heating. Might as well just check all this stuff then. Good chance we may need it in the near future. Ooh, fuel condition, nice. Keep on searching. We're gonna find everything we need and more, of course. Now, if you give me some reserve keys while we're on reserve, I would really love that too. That would just make my day. Um, or a TT pistol, you know, there's that's a thing. What about over here? I know there's a jacket and there's also another duffel bag. Metal parts. I'm sure I need metal parts for something coming up. I don't remember this door ever being closed. So there may... I'm glad you shouldn't say maybe. There probably has been like three or four people that have been down here. Yeah, I see a bunch of bodies. Search up the grenade case. <laughs> the first one. The first one's got a TNT. Alright. Well... We got our answer. 
do you need something here? Because I can provide is what Tarkov just said to me. It's like, oh, you needed this, right? You should take this. Cool. That's actually a huge weight off my shoulders because that's the last thing we needed for the security. So now we can actually start working towards the endurance. Alarm, you're a little loud. More bodies here. Do any of you have a backpack? You don't. Bone search. Oh, sugar. Nice. Very helpful. Very helpful. Put the armor on as well. I'm sure that's just really crappy ammo. Come on. Give us more sugar. We need more of that. Because I can buy water bottles from... Oh, how much is that shit down? 15. All right. It's something. Surprisingly, the sausage is only five. I'm guessing because it actually has water in it. You know, it's, it's, it's meat. And squash this actually doesn't do anything for us. Taking that instead. Take the knife. Morphine one. Very nice. Very happy about that. This dude's found a good amount of stuff, actually. 35,000 to go on top of my 50,000? Uh, obviously, I'm taking that too. We're going to drop these mags, and we're going to keep the normal AK that I have here. Good more. That wasn't me that said something. <laughs> There's somebody around here. Just going to drop some of the stuff that I'm inevitably not, go inevitably not going to need anyway. Drop the bandages. I know it sounds weird. Oh, you know what? It's more money. I might as well take the bag with us. Could take the Mosin, but I don't ever see myself using it. We'll see what he got on him, though. Okay. What else you got? PS ammo. PS ammo's good. What about your medical? What'd you get for the medical? Do we get lucky with the two pace? We do not. All right. No big deal. Actually, I'm going to take. Did one of these guys have a cowboy hat? He did. I don't remember at this point if I actually have both the cowboy hats that we need to collect. So I'm going to take it anyway. There's a weapon here. There's two weapons here. Okay. Okay. MP18 apparently is very popular inside of here. <laughs> that was not what I was expecting. Okay, hi. Ooh, nice elites. Let's transfer all the stuff over. Drop those mags. I want that. I should be able to. Yeah, I was gonna say I should be able to pop that right in there. And we got more loot. Ooh, he's got armor. Dang it! Why you gotta have so much stuff? Why you gotta have so much good stuff, man? I think what we'll do, actually, because I kind of want this rig, because it's armor. Hey, it's armor for the future. Uh, let's see what's he got. Let's drop that. Bolts I need. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I can toss this actually inside here. Put that on there. Move the medical over. Toss all this down. This can go in there for now. I need this mag out. And then I gotta drop this armor as well. We'll drop that gun, bring the Mosin in, because we'll need a bolt action later. Granted, we may find a better bolt action in the future, but still, for now, that's good enough. There's still more people that are dead. Now we need a loot. We got technology, something right here. Oh, um, that's nice and all, but I can't take that. <laughs> no reason to take that right now. Oh, 
There's a lot of dead people, man. Some fighting going on here. Uh, Vlog grenade. Sure, we'll take that. We'll drink up the hot rod as well. Add the rubles on top of the rubles. What do you have on you? You look stacked as well. Or just the, the rig looks stacked. Get the grenade. Now, the nice thing we got this, this sugar. Uh, I can show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Like how it works. Is this 15? Did I say it? Yeah, it's 15. I think we'll do this. What's our exits? Okay, okay. We'll take the hole in the wall. I think that's above us. Hey. Hello, PM. Actually, no, I have both PM pistols. Dang it. <laughs> I have both my PM pistols. Every time I see a PM pistol now, my brain automatically goes, Hey, you need that. Technically, these are good. Yes, yeah, 10. We'll drop the herring instead. Just because it's going to take down the hydration more, which is what we need. Uh, TT pistol, where did you go? Found it. Okay. Let's start heading out. We need to take the exit here. And then all we got to do is just go to the hole in the wall and we can use that as the extraction for us. And like I said, I can give you a little example of what we're going to do in between raids. I'm not necessarily going to show this every single time because that would be just, well, that would be boring. If every single time we get out of a raid, I'd show me eating. And then, well, technically eating, then drinking, eating, then drinking. Trying to get as much XP out of it. But at least then you guys know exactly what we're doing. I could toss it on there. I just realized that. Peas are just good, so I'll just eat that. Is there anything specifically that I could swap out? I don't really need that. We'll take the Clint, because we do technically need that for a quest, so we'll take that. But we got a another bolt, which means we need one more bolt. We need one more bolt, and then we need also a WD-40. Which means we're going over to interchange. Which is good too, because not only are we going to be able to get loot, we're also going to be able to get food and drinks. Mostly food, if anything. But either way, it's going to work out real nice. Turns out we are completely full inside the junk box again. <laughs> Look at that thing, it is full. We could probably start selling some stuff. And we most likely will very soon. However, before we do that, we need to show off what we've been talking about. The skills. So currently we're at 2,996 XP, okay? We have 1,021 XP to level three. All right, so we're going to do this fun calculations, okay? We're gonna do fun calculations here, all right? So currently we're at that. That's not too bad actually for what we're looking at. So remember this number, 2,996, okay? We're gonna come here to our character. Sugar will take down 45 of the hydration which will also give us XP technically. So we're going to, yeah, I know you're gonna hate me for this. We're gonna use all that. We're gonna use the chocolate. We're gonna use the chocolate. We're gonna use that as well, which brings it down to 16. Now, I got some for hydration here. So we're gonna go 15. All right, we're at 47. I don't know if this is the best way to do it or not. This is kind of a testing period. And then the last 16 we'll use as well. It brings us back to 100. We go back to skills, it hasn't changed yet. Now. I thought at first it wasn't working. I went back, went to the traders, kind of messed about, you know, yada, yada, yada. Oh, look what we can get, a thing of toothpaste, which I completely knew about and left the other red one there. I'm at it myself. And then I went back to the character, go to the skills, and now we're at 3,248. So pretty darn good. I mean, that's, that's not horrible. That's 252 XP. Is it the best method in the world? No, but, this is the way that we're running this challenge. This is only gonna take us like three raids to get to level three. So, I'm pretty happy and stoked about this. Like you have no idea how excited it was when I found it out. 
roughly 252 xp this is about as much as i've seen every single time you don't get a ton of xp now i could probably extend it even more but yeah it, it it's pretty good system only five on that one i don't have much food like i said i do I, I did somewhat of a testing period in between episodes i have a lot of stuff i need to go through as well but now you guys know that works so even though it's very very slow we will slowly but surely get ourselves leveled up and hideout we can also get these things going so we can go to vents to get those installed water container or collector defective wall by the way not defensive wall like i was calling it and i also did the mopped up floor someone also did mention as well so now we don't have any penalties whatsoever we got the sale wall completed I can't do any other crafting at the moment. One more thing, actually, because we need this anyway. I realized that the survey map was always on fence, so we're going to buy one. Even if we're going to buy it overpriced, well, we might as well do it because you don't need to have a phone on raid anyway. So now we're good to go and set for the, well, I got to buy a woods map. Is it woods or is it a factory? I forget now gonna scroll through these options until we find it intelligence center oh it's a factory map okay no problem so we go to therapist and we're gonna buy the factory map all right now technically speaking we're ready for the intelligence center level one beyond that let's get back into it well i mean it was a nice change for one raid to not have a shotgun Hey, at least we got a scope on this one yay okay let's find the stuff we're looking for what i would really like what i would really like is condensed milk condensed milk will help out a ton get, getting the water down and i'm also going to attempt to try a couple different like i guess patterns because patterns is not the word that is definitely not the word i should be using i'm gonna test out a couple different methods there you go that's the word i wanted which is like alternating the water source so like a little bit of apple juice a little normal water you know maybe like some uh help me out here you know green tea oh i've got two of the iced teas and then we swap it over with i don't know more croutons what i'm saying basically is the way the game typically works is like since i've already picked up a water this water is now not going to give me as much XP. Yay. How else can I explain this to show you what I mean? Is there another Tashanka around here? All right, that was two XP for that water. How much is this water? Look at that. Only two XP. So, like, yeah, you don't get as much XP for picking up the same item again. There we go. Herring. Three. Yeah, it's me. Don't worry. So that was three for the first herring and then one for the second one. So you get what I'm saying. I'm actually not going to grab those because they're not good at making me dehydrated. That's what I was looking for. Okay, now we need to go and find tool set and we need to go. Oh, condensed milk. Oh, my favorite. So, get more of that. Um, What was I saying again? I've already lost train of thought. I was saying 65. Yeah, that's super nice. Oh, yeah. I need to find a tool set and I also need to find a bolt. Is that also a chain? That is a chain. Why have I never looked here before? This is a good area. I'm going to check this from now on. And a CMS kit. Okay, Tarkov, you're telling me something here. I don't know if I've mentioned this or not, but I'm actually very much looking forward to when, at some point, I'm not sure when it's going to happen. Probably not for like a very long time. But I'm really looking forward to the dynamic looting. Just like loot being in different spots. Apparently I wanted to reload too. Just gonna change things up so much and make it a different experience on Tarkov. It's gonna be a good time. Now, where is the tool set and the bolts? I bet you it's not here. Oh, no. Oh. I almost got excited for a minute. Hey, elites, we need that. I think I'm completely full. Am I full? No, I have a little bit of space. Also, I found a, pro a propanol and also a gauge. We're looking pretty darn good so far. I don't need the M scissors. I apparently have a billion M scissors. So we're going to hold off before we actually grab any more. 
Come on. Come on. Be nice to us. Be nice to us. Give us what we're looking for. Yeah. You gave us what we're looking for. You even gave us even more. Because you know exactly what we need. So thank you. Okay. That's step one. Now then step two, like I said, is find me a tool set. And we are set to go to get the gym working. Please, for the love of goodness gracious, let's get that going. Because I have some other plans that I want to try to accomplish today as well. Will we accomplish them? I hope so. Oh, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. All right. Uh, how do I want to do this then? I'm going to drop that. And then we're also going to drop that. Take that there. Put that there. We already got a water, so we'll drop that. Tool set. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. That's This is completely fine. This is great. I'm thinking, now that we have everything we need, unless I can find another leap plier, which I'm going to go back and search this then, because I'm getting a little excited that I found the items that I actually needed, and the game didn't troll me this time. <laughs> um, I need to find the elite plier, because I need to get that shotgun. Or the shotgun part. Oh! No, I don't need that anymore! <gasps> I'll just show you when we get back. Well, we're going to go to the stash one more time before we're going to the next raid, because I figured out that we actually have the plastic grip. It's on one of the shotguns. I don't know why I don't remember that, but it's on there. So we can actually do something fun. But we need one other thing. Well, we can't leave yet. I was about to cut it right there, but I just realized we need a hard drive. Because everybody in the comment section, which of course, I love you guys for it, because the more you guys talk about it, the better I remember things, were so kind to remind me. 500 times that all I needed to get was a hard drive to actually be able to accomplish what I'm trying to do So we're gonna go get a hard drive for the plastic uh, I don't remember the name is I'll probably put it up on the screen the plastic thing for the shotgun the Custom plastic yada 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 So we can get that and then move over to get Probably level three after this which is kind of exciting. Hey, there it is I'm going to drop the other water. Boom. Hard drive. And exit. Here we come. Hey, it's me again. I lied. Uh, it's not exit time. <laughs> I realize I need a WD-40, but I need the 100 mil. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Whoops. So we're not dead yet. I need to find that. Where I'm going to find it, I don't really know. It should be back here in Ollie, though. So we're going to search for that as well. Okay, so we did not find it whatsoever. That's kind of unfortunate. However, just means we have to go into another raid, try to locate the item, and be fine. So what we call the movie business, Suspense. It's alright though that we didn't find it. We'll end up finding it, I'm sure, on the next map anyway. I'm feeling like I want to go. Ooh, look, at, look at that scab. Looks freaking cool. Um, yeah, I want to go over to streets next. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna get all this stuff dropped off. I'm gonna eat up these croutons, drink a little bit of water. I think the way I should do it too, just so you guys can kind of be aware where we're keeping in mind where we're at for like XP. I'll put it on like on the, on the screen, like how much XP we gains. So that way you guys kind of feel a part of it and I don't have to consistently show you me eating every five seconds. I feel like that'd get really annoying real fast. But at least you'll know exactly how much XP we earn for that between that between raids. So remember that. Anytime XP shows up at the beginning of a raid, that's because I ate food. And I'm sure about 500 comments will ask me the same question. Why is there XP thing showing up? And I'll explain it again. But that's completely fine. Nothing else. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's head over to Streets of Tarkov. I'm shocked. I didn't get another shotgun. Okay. We need to find WD-40. And then we need to grab a few other things, which I made a list for. Stuff like we need... Oh, gosh. I'm going to butcher the name. I'm pretty sure it's called a Bulblex. Bulblex? I believe it was called. I got to find, like, another defuels and a couple more of the lighters. And a few more hunting matches. And I'll, I'll never say no to bolts. It's never a bad idea to have extra. And actually, this place hasn't been touched. Oh, there's one of them. 
because not only are we working on the gym, but we're working on everything else. Like, so like heating is coming up soon. Illumination, I'm pretty sure we need like a million bulbs, which will take us a while to get there, but I'm not worried too much about that one. We need like electric drills and all that. So there's a lot of stuff. There's a sludgy. What's up, dude? It seemed very quiet for a minute in my ears. I'm like, well, I couldn't figure out why he wasn't here much. Turns I uh, turns I turned up my turned my volume down a little bit while we were waiting for the raid to start. Relay power bank. LCD. Okay, all right. Where is? Oh, we got an airdrop coming in. Someone shot one off. I kind of want to go to that, but I feel like everyone's gonna swarm. Although we could see if someone's got a WD forty and trade them. Not a bad idea. Was well, that the way for it to come in? It takes a little bit for a dashy drop, and then we'll discuss amongst our other scab friends if they have a WD forty for us. If they don't, we'll give them a sturdy word of well, you should. I well, probably won't say that, but you know what I mean. Let's keep going. Ah, armor. We'll take the better armor. Echo is good ammo. It's a pretty good ammo. Can I please search you? Or not? Apparently, he didn't want me to search him again. I'm going to take the echo for now. We'll probably end up dropping it because we'll find, we'll find some other stuff. We also need to go and get some food, which should be a crate right here. Come on, crate. Have what we need. We need sugar. We need anything that dehydrates us. That doesn't do much. Antishanka's only five. All right, I'm not going to worry about it then this time. I'm honestly thinking about sacrificing the croutons that we currently have in the stash because there's no reason for us to not. I'm gonna eat this up actually. Work on the metabolism for the scab at least. Because we can always get some more for interchange. We got a while before anyway. Now, I want to discuss something while we wait for this airdrop to come in because it's been something that a lot of people have been discussing in the comment section and that is Jaeger. Now, there are some of you who say, don't worry about it. Just like, you know, make up some type of like way to you know get yourself one one raid in with a PMC so you can unlock Yeager because it's gonna block a lot of things. And that is true. It will technically block us from a lot of things. So I may do it. Now here's my here's what I'm thinking if I do it. And you guys can Oh. Oh okay. Wrong wrong W D forty by the way. Um kinda want that fuel. Eh, can I fit it? If I drop that, I should be able to fit it. So I'm thinking to be able to use Jaeger or to use our PNC to get Jaeger, one, we wouldn't, be, but we wouldn't be allowed to kill anyone. That would be the thing. Two, we'd have to spend 500,000 rubles to be able to use our PMC for one raid. And any any oh, any XP that we gain while we're in raid, which because well, of course we'll get survival XP and whatnot, we will spend ten thousand, or not ten thousand. That would have been way more since I thought, um, hundred rubles per XP level. Now it seems like a lot, and it is, but I think it's a good like, I guess like negative bonus for using a PMC when we said we weren't going to. So let me know in the comments. Let me know, let me know what you think about that. I, it is definitely a penalty, but it should be a penalty, considering that we're working on just using just a scab right now. Please, please, Tarka. Hey, bud. You got a WD forty by chance? Oh, no problem. Uh. Nah, I just need the like the large WD forty. But I appreciate it, though. All right, we'll keep searching. That he didn't have what we're looking for, but there are a lot of like toolboxes around here, so we can hopefully find one. So yeah, let me know in the comments section down below what you think about the idea. If you think it's a cool idea, we'll go with it. If you don't, we won't go with it. We'll just we'll just continue without working out Jaeger. I'm not worried about it either way. If we don't use Jaeger, it's not the end of the world. Okay, we got a few more options in this area at least for a WD-40. Um, come on, come on, come on. UV light. Nope. If we don't find it here, we'll end up going back over to the interchange anyway. Woo. Airdrop's coming in. 
We'll go locate that. I don't need any of that. Found a bigger rig while we're waiting for the airdrop. There it is. Construction site, which should be near our exit anyway. Yeah, we got the manhole exit. So let's get over there. See if the guy's willing to share. And if he is willing to share, well, we'll trade him if he finds anything we want. That should open, right? Yeah. Oh, it's going to land right next to our exit. That's pretty amazing. I hope this is a scab, not a player. <laughs> this interaction may be awkward. Well, all the scabs are all coming in. <laughs> hey. What's up, guys? If you find a sound scope, I'll give you major loot for it. What are you finding what now? I promise that we'll give you major loot for it. Sounds good. Oh, it's medical too, it's great. Ooh, medical. Great. Okay, I bet. All I, all I want is a toothpaste. A green toothpaste. That's all I care about. Toothpaste? Great. Yes, sir. Wait, oh, you got a toothpaste? You got a green one? Oh, I need a green one. It's got to be green. green. Oh, heck yeah. Where, where is it at? This cache over here. He's in construction. Oh, heck yeah. You said it's in the cache here? Yeah, there's some more shit there. Oh, bet. Hey, take this, bro. What's up? Because you found what I needed. Thank you. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. Green? Toothpaste! That's a victory! That's a victory and a half right uh, there. Hello. Here, I'll give you some loot. Just because you stole it. Oh, you good, man. Take what you gotta get, you know? Ooh, condensed milk. I need a little black key card. You think I need some more blitz? That's fair, that's fair. Come on, come on, we need more of that I type of stuff. Party. I have a tea party. I love tea parties. Hey, you over there too. Tea party. I'm kind of just keeping a look at it. It sounded like there were shots towards uh, the center. Yeah, of there's that. some guy in check 15. They're all keeping an eye out for us. Kind of killed two player scavs over there. Come on, tea party. I gotta drop some stuff first. I'll take one. I'll let someone else take another one. Guy looting the airdrop tea party. We're having a tea party here. Although I can't extend my pink I can't extend my pinky. I don't like that. Tea party time. We'll wait till he finishes up looting and then we'll get out. Everyone drink up. Let's go. Uh, let's go killing and checking now. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna leave. But when they go forward, we're gonna go yeah, backwards. You guys have an ophthalmoscope, eh? No. We do not. Good luck, boys. Good luck. Good luck, friends. Heck yeah. Alright, we're getting out of here. Because we may not have found the WD-40, but we did find the toothpaste. So we're going to jump into another raid on Interchange and see if we can find the WD-40 now. For this raid, we should be hitting level 3, I believe. And we got a giant gun. Pretty stoked about that. What I'm thinking of doing is that if we start hearing any gunshots, we're going to go after it. Because I want to get some action in. We've done enough looting. We still need to technically do a lot of looting for the hideout. But I want to try to get some action going with some players. If we can find someone, of course. All depends if someone's actually starts shooting or if we hear anything, then we go for it. There's a lot of food here. Place got kind of cleared out, looks like. All right, so let's go find that WD 40. That's the main priority of what we're trying to find. If we could find that, then we're looking pretty good. I have a whole, like I said, a whole list of things. Did I just hear someone in my right? No, I think we're good. I have a whole list of things that I want to get, so we're going to keep an eye out for that one or multiple things. So I'm thinking we hit the back side of the mall, and then we go over to Ollie, search a couple more things over there, and then that should be pretty much all we need to do. But we have to find the WD-40. 
That is the, the goal. We will not end this episode without the WD-40. I have to say, it was a good interaction, though, with those people that we ran into over on uh, streets. Everyone was relaxed. No one wanted to try to kill anyone. <laughs> it was a good day. Because sometimes you get some, some rowdy scabs, scab players, and they want to just, like, take everyone else out so you can get the loot. So I was like, even though, like, I was feeling pretty good about everything, I was kind of like, all right, I think it should be fine here, but you never know. Just gonna be on my on my toes just in case. But hey, everything worked out in the end. The one guy found us a what's this? What's this? Xenon. The one guy found us what we were looking for too. A sticking toothpaste. And look what we found. WD forty one hundred mil. Well, milliliter, I should say. Not mil. Hundred milliliter. And that's what we need. Everything else is just a bonus. What's up, dude? Search it up, search it up. I got kind of scared there for a minute. I saw somebody coming my way. I'm like, oh god. Is this is exactly what I was thinking. I'm, I'm a, I'm a scab. Don't worry. <laughs> We're good, bro. Kind of want to ask him something. No, he won't do it. I was gonna see if he wanted to trade his backpack for my gun. Like it's a shiny gun. But why would he shade that when he could carry all the stuff, you know? Alright, got a couple things in there. I will say this. So right now we're getting the gym and the lavatory leveled up. After we level those two up, the only things that, that we can technically do after that is get the next lavatory, which will be lavatory level two. We can do the generator and we can do illumination and heating. Those are the only things we can do. After that, we have to get, we have to get the levels up on the PMC, so we'll be kind of locked in place for a little bit until then, which is fine because it lets me work work on like other other goals that we're trying to do, like we've been talking about, collect more items for the PMC for the longer run. And I have some some ideas of how I want to slowly start using the PMC, but we'll talk about those those methods in a later episode. As of right now, we're sticking to the plan, getting the hideout as far as we can. And then after that, well, well, we'll go from there, basically. Ooh, a backpack. A really nice backpack, too. What you got in there? A bunch of food. Ammo that I don't need. And more ammo that I don't need. Could take the TV rig as well. Take the Jinji. Probably a bunch of HP rounds. Oh, wow, we actually got PS rounds. I'm very surprised by that. We'll actually take those. Could just leave inside there too. That would make sense, right? And we'll transfer everything over here for now. That's full. Okay. Let's go check out Germany. And then kind of skirt around a little bit. I'm trying to determine where the heck I can find like the Well, I know the bull books I can find in like any text bonds. But there's a couple items I'm still kind of like, where can I go to find them? Like hunting matches, I'm guessing we could just go through a bunch of filing cabinets and find those. Electric drill, I can probably find in Ollie, and I can also most likely find it inside of... I want to say... Uh, Burger Shot. I'm pretty sure Burger Shot has it in there as well. If I remember right, it's been a while since I've gone through that path. We can go grab some light bulbs, actually. Since we're there to tech spawn, grab some light bulbs. We can grab some wires as well. Just to get the hideout moving a little bit farther. You know, whatever else we can get our. Oh, alright, an, an extra Tetris. Finding a lot of these Tetrises. <laughs> People are just forgetting to pick them up or something? I don't know, but it's, it seems like I'm getting a ton of them. Speaking of things I'm getting a ton of, uh, MP133 shotguns. Like, I have so many of them at this point. There's no reason for me to pick them up ever. <laughs> just so many of them. I, I I guess I just hit the jackpot or something when I was working on those tasks. Because now the game's just like, oh, you want this, right? I think I see a graphics card. I do. I don't. Never mind. That's a DVD player. <laughs> Never mind. I got, I got very excited about that when I saw the, the corner of it. 
I'm like, no way. Found another graphics card? How lucky we are. We're not that lucky. Is that a wire? Oh, it's caps. I don't need any caps at the moment. We'll take spark plug. I mean, technically, I don't need any of this stuff right now, but. Okay, well. I'll take another one. Apparently, I'm just finding all the Tetris. In the I'm surprised people are not taking those. Like, clearly, there have been players coming through here. Why they have not been taken is beyond me. If we can find an electric drill, too, that'd be cool. And this is technically a spot we can find it. Okay. This seems full. We can toss those up there. Anything else? I'm gonna do this. There we go. I'm gonna get three more slots in that one. Cords. I'm just honestly grabbing the cords for XP. That's really about it. Check in here, see if there's anything for medical. I don't want med tools right now. And then alongside all, everything else that we're going to be working on, like for, you know, just for, just for the future, for like trying to get some, some extractions with the scavs and whatnot. Yes, wave, 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 scav friend. Um, I need to work on more crafting too. More crafting and more hide up management. So there's a lot of stuff we want to do with that. So once we get these upgrades done, we can start looking more into, in depth into the crafting and what we need to actually get done. Scab. Oh, it's underneath us, actually. It's not even up here. Yeah, see, he's like, oh, I'm a bastard, man. I, I made you think I was right here. But I'm actually down below. Cheeky breaky indeed. Anything else around here at all? Because if there isn't, I'm probably going to call it. I'll see if we can find, like, a cheeky graphics card or something. That's going to be a PSU in it. Okay, we'll take the SSD. A little bit extra money we can put towards peacekeeper I do need to sell things though like it's getting kind of ridiculous <laughs> the amount of stuff that i have inside our um inside, inside of everything that we've got um in our in our stash i think we're good on the motor i hate seeing the <laughs> the water filter there and not grabbing it it feels sacrilegious but clearly it's something that we don't need right now there's a lot of motors. This is Motor City. And we're not even in Detroit. Anything else that we need? I don't think so. I think this is going to be pretty much everything at this point. Which is fine. I should probably head out anyway before I push my luck in any further. Let me go check this box here. If there's nothing inside of here, we're heading to the exit and getting out with the loots. And hey... Two Tetrises plus our, our loot that we actually needed, the WD-40. Can't complain about that whatsoever. We could probably get one more raid in. Probably one more raid and then call it an episode there with, because we have to do a bunch of stuff inside the stash and the hideout. So I'm thinking, if we get a scope, obviously we're going to go to the lighthouse. But if not, I don't know. I'll leave it up to a mystery. By the way, I know I just know if it's a scope, we're definitely going over to the lighthouse. A good raid. Very good raid. A lot of good stuff. And we're moving forward with a lot of progress. And the gym being unlocked. I mean that's just like a triple win. We'll also talk more about the gym later when it comes to the food and everything else. Let's move on to the next one. I will say I'm slightly confused because we got out of the last raid and went to go check on some stuff. But mainly it's wanted to see if like we had everything ready for the next raid, and then I clicked on the stats for the PMC. And for some reason, our PMC is now level 3. I don't know how that is, because I didn't do any, like, leveling with the food, like we've been doing. And the last time we left off, we were, like, I think 30 XP away from hitting level 3. So, I'm not really sure what happened. We just kind of leveled up. So, it is what it is. Well, I guess we'll, we'll take it. <laughs> I mean, it's not what, what I was expecting, but hey, I'm fine with it. Unfortunately, we didn't get the sniper like I was hoping for. 
but it's not a huge deal. I figured we can grab the food that's on reserve and then try to find a couple other things as well. Because at the end of the day, we are going to need uh, food anyway, because with the gym, which we've been talking about before, the gym, what happens basically is that you use it, you end up getting yourselves like a, well, it, it, it lowers your energy and your water. So it's a perfect time to level up and get your, get some more XP towards the PMC. So I want to make sure I've got food for when we do that. Granted, I mean, you got to wait like 24 hours in between anyway, so it's, you've got time anyway to go grab food between the raids, but not much else for us to do at the moment. So I mean, we pretty much hit all the goals that we want to. However, I do need to find like screws and stuff. So we are going to keep searching. There are some things I still want to get for the future. Tashanka is only five, five and five. I mean, we might as well take it. I will say this though, I did do a little bit of organizing in the the stash. Not a lot. Everything's pretty much just been moved to either a bag or the or the scab container. And then we also pulled everything that we're gonna sell out. I know you can sell the wallets inside the container, but I figured, meh, might as well pull it out, have it ready to go. And we can kind of see what we've been gathering over these last four, uh, four episodes. And it's kind of amazing, actually. We've collected a lot. So I'm, actually, I'm very excited to actually get that stuff sold. There's nothing in this wallet. I can actually just toss that wallet. What a horrible wallet. Nothing even in there. No money, no cards, and no keys. Let's keep searching, see what we can find. Well, we found the uh, second cricket that we need. Crinkets, 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 crinkets. So we need one more of those. We need some more hunter matches. We could technically go do some filing cabins quickly. Is that a dead body? No, it's not a dead body. It would actually help us out because we do need to grab a bunch of stuff anyway. Yeah, I might as well do it since we're on reserve anyway. We don't have a ton of goals we're working on other than that at the moment. Nails, I also need. But basically, I need another D fuel. I need. I think I actually have the hunting matches I need. I don't think I actually need anymore. I'm quite certain two is all I need. And then we need to find one more lighter and a bunch of screws. Screws is the one I need to find, which they're not very difficult to find. I, like we've been discussing this this whole time, it's quite easy to get what you need by going to interchange for the hideout. So we'll end up going back there at some point anyway. Oh, we got something. Okay, you got a PK-06. What else you got for us? I don't think I need this Remington. Maybe I'll grab it just in case. Well, looky here. Looks like I didn't need the trade after all. Although I may just get rid of that one, considering we have the trade anyway. Yeah, we already have the trade ready, so I'm not going to worry about grabbing it. But yeah, that's funny. <laughs> it's funny that we find that thing while we're doing our little traversing around the maps. Nice, we got some chocolate that will help with the dehydration. Or, not dehydration, but getting the water down. Oh, dehydration, yeah. Words. It's a nice AK, actually. We can do some stuff with that. Too bad it's only, you know, 366, but we can take the parts off it. Like, it's got the Bastion on there. I want the Bastion. That's one of the parts that's really nice. Ooh, Elites. All right. Got the Elite Pliers. Getting all the stuff that we're, we're hoping to get. We got some more bolts. We got more glasses. For some reason, glasses are just a thing for us right now. Is there any tech? Any tech that we can take? I don't think so. All right. Let's search all the filing cabins. We might as well just get it done with. Because there are good things in here that we need. I'm going to take the hunting match just in case I counted wrong. 100% either way whether we keep it or not. Keep it for now, and if we don't need it, we'll just sell it. That's how it works, right? I don't even check to see what the answers are. We'll have to see what they are. Nothing there. I am enjoying finding these bolts and screw nuts, though, because we're going to need them for crafting. For the lavatory, specifically. Because once we get the lavatory to level 2, we're going to need, like, empty field cans. We're going to need screw nuts. We're going to need a bunch of different stuff. Because we can craft, like, grenade cases, we can craft the magazine cases, medical, well, I shouldn't say medical. I don't think medical is a possibility, but there are a lot of things we can craft. So, I want to get on top of that. Smash. Yeah, we're just going to be doing our darns to grab as much good stuff 
and things are going to be basically good for us for the future. Um, I'm good. I don't think I need any of that stuff. We'll search these ones as well. Find the last one of this one. If we can find the last one, that one and a defill, we'll actually be good to get the heating up. But again, it's not a huge worrying right now. Ooh. Convenience storage key. I'm guessing this is gonna get streets. I don't know if it's a good key or not, but hey, it's a key nonetheless. And there's the last lighter that we needed. Very nice. I don't have to grab any more of those. Hard drive I don't need. Oh, hard drives do get you the MBSS backpacks, but we already have a lot of backpacks collected as it is. Not something we really need to worry about. And some insulated tape. Okay. Well, that we grabbed a hunting match and we also got ourselves the rest of the crickets. I think we're going to skip the rest of these drawers. I'm going to check this weapon case, though. We're not going to check any more filing cabinets. I'm going to keep, keep it moving. What exits do we have? Okay. So we're on our standard one that we normally would take. We'll do a little more searching. What's in the tech box? Matches, hunting. Okay, I'm gonna take this just in case I need that extra one. And then and the nails. You have a bigger rig, I'm gonna take that. And armor. Well, someone's got your gun. Whatever it is. Drop this one, take that one. Ooh. Oh, you're um oh you're oh gosh, you're okay, you're a raider. So you got more friends around here. Let's see if they got any extra grenades on them. Or if they've already been like looted through. Which it looks like they've been looted through. That's what it seems like. None of them are in here. Oh, we got raiders on hand right now. Sure, I'll take the helmet. I don't have a lot of room left in the stash, which is kind of funny to say. But yeah, we'll, we'll take it for now, you know. Anything in there? Duct tape. I feel like I feel like you can never have enough duct tape. But where are the rest? Oh, did I literally just pass over this one? I already got contacts. I don't need any more. I did. I walked right over this one. Or no, I walked around him actually. I didn't actually walk through them. Take that. Medical. Alright. Pretty darn cool. Finding that stuff. I got like one more slot that I could probably fill. This is for rear sight. More tea ammo. One of these days I'm going to find better ammo. One of these days. Search the rest of this building here and then we'll probably get out of here. We'll get out of here and then we'll go focus on the hideout because I do have a lot of things I need to get done. That I also need to sell a bunch of stuff. We have so much crap that I need to sell. Honestly, it wouldn't be a bad idea for us to get another scav, uh, scav junk box. Scav junk box is kind of needed and two of them well I can kind of organize you know things that I want to keep things that need to be sold that way it's not always mixed through and it's a little bit easier to I guess not organize but like it's easier well I guess organize would be the word yeah it's better to organize DVD player nothing in that okay let's head over to the exit a quick easy raid of loot hopefully at next episode I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing a lot of streets and we're gonna be doing a lot of probably the lighthouse because now that we got the basis for the hideout that we can pretty much do at the moment I'm kind of stuck at that point where I can't really do much for the hideout after that other than a few items here and there that I still need to collect but what I'm thinking what I want to focus on next is going for player kills Player kills and rogue kills and start collecting stuff for that. So even though we're not getting all that stuff right now, we're not getting a lot of action. We're building the account up to where it needs to be. And soon we'll be able to go out 
have all that action with the beam, with the, well, I was about to say PMZ, but with the scav. I mean, technically speaking, even coming to reserve here wouldn't be the worst idea either. You can flip the switch and then raiders will come out and I can technically kill raiders and I won't get negative scab rep, so. Not a horrible idea. You get some really nice XP actually for killing, for killing them. And we also get the loot on top of that, so. We will definitely be looking to those options very soon. All right, let's get some things upgraded. First of all, gym. It's only gonna take four hours and we'll have the gym upgraded. That is amazing. Seriously amazing. Lavatory, thank you to our scav friend. We can finally get that built. Lavatory level two. I do need to get a few more items still. Like I said, we need to get the electric drill and we also need to find five of the screw packs. And then we can get level two, which opens up a ton of different crafts for us, which is amazing. Which we can kind of still do some crafts here. We don't have any still supplies on us right now, but we can always obviously start searching for these things when we're out and about. Now, I think that was everything for now. I'm pretty sure I can't do anything else. I mean, security, technically speaking, is ready to go, but we need the endurance, which, well, hold on. No, I lied. We need to get a WD-40 small one, but we've got a long time before that. It's actually going to happen anyway. Not a big deal. But like I was saying earlier, for some reason, I... I'm good to go on the XP and I don't know what happened because yeah, I didn't do any leveling. It was very strange. Very, very strange. I moved some stuff around. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff. Everything we're basically going to get sold is right here. And then this stuff's going to get sold over to Peacekeeper and then all the extra bags and stuff I don't need, we're selling over to Ragman. So let's get started because we have a whole lot, like a lot, a lot. Uh, it turns out the cowboy hat I actually don't need because we have two of them already, which is really cool. So we're just going to get all of this sold. Same thing with the Ushanka. Oh, it's full. So we got all this extra stuff sold. Stuff that I'm never going to end up using on the PMC anyway, because we're going to have better options in the future. Get all that sold. Comtax I'll keep for the time being. Going to keep that rig because we need that one. We'll sell all this as well. Now, certain armors probably in the future I'm going to start holding out to, but for right now I'm not going to. Uh, does this sell better to you or to therapist? Oh, therapist sells it and uh, takes it more. Okay, so we're gonna sell all this stuff. We have five freaking Tetrises. That's awesome. So we're gonna get all of those sold on top of everything else here. Uh, gas analyzer, these are just the extras. We had a ton of extra left over. So we're gonna sell these. I'm actually gonna sell all these cords too, because at the moment I don't need any extra wires. We'll need wires in the future, but as of right now, we don't need them. Get all those sold. Mm -hmm. We can go over to Peacekeeper, come back down to the bottom here. We can sell all of these over to you. Get the money started on, on you. We're going to sell these guns to you as well. Because right now, Mechanic's looking okay. So I'm not worried about him. Mechanic is looking okay. I'm, I'm just kind of slowly trying to go back and forth between these two and start selling these things. Because we obviously want to get the money sold to them. Up, but for some reason, Peacekeeper for me just takes forever. <laughs> I always forget to start selling things to him. So we'll, we'll, be, we'll be just fine. We have a lot of time to get things sold. So this, 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 this. I'm gonna keep the sniper rifle. Just sell you. We're gonna keep the ammo. We're gonna keep this guy for now and try to do some modifications with that soon. What do I have inside this? I had the water. No wonder I couldn't sell it. Okay. We can sell that now. Eh, sell the UN helmet. Get rid of it for the time being. Now, that's done. We have a bunch of extra guns now. The next thing we're working on is what we've been discussing is Gunsmith Part 1. Because we had the fancy dancy little plastic end here. The pistol grip that we had on one of the shotguns. I didn't even realize it. The other thing we got to do is come over to Mechanic. We need to do the trade with the hard drive that we had. Oh, we got one. And now, we're going to go grab it wherever it went. It's somewhere up here. There it is. We need to... I thought I had a shotgun that was pretty much ready. Uh, you're pretty good. We'll kind of disassemble you a little bit. We'll move that, we'll move this, toss that under there, you to there, you to there, that to there, and then this shotgun. This shotgun has the cylinder and everything. Oh, we gotta take the ammo out. Let's pull this out. Unload you. I think that's all we need to do. Unless I need the four cylinder. I don't think I do. But that should be everything that we need. 
Gunsmith Part 1. It is indeed. Part 1 completed. We can't start uh, Part 2 just yet, but it's fine. It's completely fine. We get 800 XP for that. We get 10,000 XP or 10,000 uh, rubles. Plus, we get a little rep with you. And technically speaking, we're ready to go. We just need to hit level 20. <laughs> we got a while before that's going to happen, which is fine. That's two quests now that we were able to complete. That's awesome. That's awesome to see because it's... It's not something that's going to happen very often, but when it, when it does, it's going to feel really good. And we get some more bolts and screw nuts. I like that. Very, very, very cool. Now, I think what we're going to do now is just do a little bit of food. Because that's all we really have left to do at the moment. I can sell a couple more things, too. Actually, how much room did that make? I made some okay room. These bags are all still full of stuff, by the way. <laughs> it kind of comes with the territory of... Hey, I just have a bunch of stuff on me, but I can't fit it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait to see if I want to do the junk box. I'm probably end up going to do it anyway. Say that I'm not going to, but I'm probably going to. Take the croutons out. Take this. Take this out. Take this out. Okay, now we can do. What are we at currently? Yeah, it's three thousand three hundred and forty-five left. No big deal. We'll just drink. We'll take a little bit of that. We'll eat the chocolate. Eat the croutons, eat this, and this will take us basically down to zero. And then we'll use 25 of this. I forget how much it is exactly. Now, it says we're going to get metabolism levels. We're not actually going to. Just keep that in mind. We'll drink the milk up. Then we come over to the skills. Nothing's changed. Oh, no, it did change. It actually changed for once. Wow. Normally, it doesn't actually change for us, right? We have to go to, like, therapist or something, and then go back to the character, and go back to the skills, and change it again. Look at that. So now we only need 2,900 XP till level four. It's a very slow process, but it works. And slowly but surely we will get to the goal we're trying to reach, which is level five. And we are so close. Once level five hits, then it, it's going to go a little faster, especially with adding on the food that we're doing already on top of the daily quests that we can do for the, it's basically the find and transfer items, which is completely fine. But it's, we'll find the items, no problem as a, as a scab. And then of course we'll have to do Few more things here let's see i kind of want to check out is there anything else i want, I want to do some more research to see if there's anything else we can find that we can do turn ins to get more xp and then scab tasks of course when we get those unlocked which is fine We're, we are slowly but surely getting there and it'll just take time i'm very happy about that but hideout wise everything's looking great we're going to be able to upgrade a lot of the stuff soon but i'm very happy with the projects we've made so far so that being said ladies and gentlemen it's going to be the end of this episode of the scavenger series so if you guys enjoyed today's episode make sure you give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below what you enjoyed about the episode what you're excited about for the future we have more content on the way for you ladies and gentlemen and i'm very excited to say there's so much more to come for the series that i don't want to spoil yet but it's going to be exciting i'll see you in the next one